Quarantine. Friday, May 8th. Mother's Day weekend. Make sure you get your mother something. We're dressed up like superheroes for the thousandth time. And I gotta go to play superheroes. As you can see, I'm Miles Morales. This is Iron Man. We hope you enjoy your question today. This is Mr. H here. So, I'm working on this incredibly complex formula. And this is just one small part of it. You could help me greatly if you could just tell me what digits are represented by C, O, V, and I. What up my quarantine people? I hope you got a lot of time cause Instructor Beef's about to blow your mind with this question. Boom, Mr. H bringing the hammer. Um, whew. So first of all, you have to understand regrouping and standard algorithm multiplication. But more than that, you just have to be a problem solver. This is just one of those questions you have got to work out. So we're trying to figure out, um, and I'll just write them all over here. What is I, what is C, what is O, and what is V? And you have to understand how regrouping works. You have to have a problem solving mind and you have to think through this logically. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is, I know that there is a digit underneath each digit, right, of my multiplication equation, which tells me one thing. Four times C did not make me regroup. It's a single digit number. I didn't have to regroup when I multiplied four times C. That's important because that means C can either be zero, it can be one, it can be two, it can't be three because four times three would be 12 and then I'd have to have another letter over here for my 10 thousandths place. So C has to be one of these numbers. Now when you go back and look at this, and I don't want to edit the video, it can't be zero either because if you did four times zero, then you wouldn't have a letter right here. So zero is already out. C is either one or two, again, because you didn't regroup. Now if I go back to what I know about multiplication, I times four gave me a number. Well, any number times an even number is going to be even, right? Anytime one of your, even time you're multiplying two numbers, one of the factors is even, this has to be an even number, which means C has to be two, okay? So I use those, oop, two, not C. C is not C, C is two. So I used those two things to help me figure out C, which now that I know C is two, four times two is eight, which means I is either eight or it could be nine if I had to regroup. So if I did four times O and got a number bigger than 10, I'd have to regroup a one, which would cause this to be nine. So I is either eight or nine. However, because I know C was two, right? So I'm taking this one step at a time. Because I know the number C was two, I times four either has to be two or has to be a number that ends in two, such as 12, 22, 32, 42, 52. It has to end in a two, and then I could have regrouped. If I was nine, okay, so now I'm just plugging in and checking it, nine times four is 36. That doesn't end in a two, so it can't be nine, which means I has to be eight, and if I is eight, then eight times four be 32, right? Ends in a two, and I would have to regroup a three over my next number. So now I know C is two, and I has to be eight. So now that we've figured out that eight times four is 32, I had to regroup my three right here. Now let me go back to O. Now I know four times O did not have any regrouping, right? Because four times two was eight, right? And I didn't regroup anything. So I know there was no regrouping when I multiplied four times O which means the only numbers I can regroup, or the only numbers that don't make four regroup are zero, one, and two. All right, well it can't be zero because then I wouldn't have anything here, right, just be zero. And I've already used two for C, which means O has to be one, okay? So I can cross that out and put a one right there, and now I know O is one. 
Okay, which means this has to be one, and my only thing left is V. Now, I know if I list my numbers, there we go. All right, I've already used one. Okay, can't be zero. I've already used two, and I've already used eight. So I have a few numbers left. Now, any number times four is going to be even, right? Because four is an even number. We've already talked about that property of multiplying even numbers. So if I multiply four times V, that means V has to be an even number. And then when I add three to it, it has to give me a number that ends in one. So my numbers that end in one are one, 11, 21, 31, 41, and so forth and so on. Well, I've already used one. So what other numbers, how else could I make 11 by adding three? So if I did four times two and then added three, that'd be 11. But the only problem is I've already used two for C. So I can't, I'm not gonna, my answer is not gonna be 11, okay? If I did, my, my numbers left are three, four, five, six, and seven. So if I do four times three, that's gonna be 12 plus three would be 15. That doesn't end in a one. If I did four times four, right? First of all, which that can't be it because I already have four, but let's just check it. Four times four is 16 plus three would be 19. That's not gonna work. If I do four times five, that's gonna be 20 plus three would be 23. That doesn't end in a one. Oops. Four times six is 24 plus three would be 27. That doesn't end in one. Four times seven is 28 plus three would be 31. So that works, but then I'd have to regroup a three over here, all right? So if I'm saying that V equals seven, then I'd have to do four times one, which is four, and I'd have to regroup the three, which would make it seven. So seven is what V is. Now, that's kind of messy. I probably could have done a better job, but it's late at night. But that's a thought process. You try different things. You kind of plug things in and see what works. You look at what you know about the number that you have, which is four, and then you look at regrouping and how regrouping works, and what when you multiply numbers, what they end in, and what you would have to add to them, and try different things until you come up with answers. So our answer is I equals eight, C equals two, O equals one, and V equals seven. Hopefully this didn't make you sick thinking about it, because as always, stay safe, do math, I'm out.